Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to have a look into this little module which is named as Chronodor version 2.0. Now what is this actually? So if you look on to the top side we can see there is just a button cell holder on the top and if you look into the bottom side there is a chip now this is basically the ds3231 chip so if we look into the data sheet of ds3231 we can see this is basically an extremely accurate I squared C integrated RTC or real time clock. So, this chip is actually a real time clock. Now, this module I uh, ordered it from AliExpress from China, and this is basically the clone version of uh, Chronodot version 2, which is uh, released by Adafruit. So basically uh, Adafruit uh, doesn't deliver in India so I have to get this clone version from China. So now the chip here is this uh, DS3231. So now if we look into the data sheet we can see it is uh, basically 16 pin chip. Here 4 pins on the left side and 4 pins on the right side are basically connected to ground these have uh, no physical connections and it uses I square C communication to uh, send data to the microcontroller so uh, that is very helpful because only with the two wire we can connect it to the microcontroller there is obviously the VCC pin and the ground pin and we have uh, this uh, interrupt or the square wave uh, pin which is basically used to uh, set as the alarm function if you go to the description so here in the description we can see this intsqw or this interrupt square wave pin pin 3 actually it has two functions it uh, it can be set to uh, give a square wave output or it could be set to uh, in to uh, trigger a uh, interrupt so that uh, we can set a uh, alarm into the clock that we are going to design then we have a uh, reset pin which is uh, internally pulled high so that we can operate the chip then we have v bat now this v bat pin basically uh, uses to connect to a secondary battery or in this chip if we look uh, into the chip itself into the module there is a battery holder so this battery holder basically uh, uh, takes a battery a coin cell i don't know uh, what size it is i couldn't find uh, a bat battery which can fit into this battery holder so i have to leave it empty for now maybe if we could uh, if i could find uh, compatible cell then I will install it definitely but for now I don't have any such cell which is uh, exactly fitting into this battery holder so for now I'm leaving it blank and without uh, installing battery also we can use this because uh, the battery actually uh, keeps the time even even if the chip loses the power so uh, even if you turn off the clock the chip will actually uh, keep the time so for that you need to connect a battery so now uh, if you look into the data sheet in details we have SDN and SCA pins which are compatible up to 5.5 volt so that is very convenient we can connect to a 5 volt uh, microcontroller so now uh, that is the uh, data sheet of this chip so uh, let's connect it to our microcontroller or the Arduino on breadboard that I have made in the previous video. If you have not uh, not seen that video, I will put a link in the i button here. Now we need to connect the 
SDA and SCL pins to this uh, Arduino or the uh, 80 mega 328 chip which uh, we have installed in the breadboard. So into that chip we can see the 28 pin is the uh, SCL and the 27 pin is the SDA. So these are the two pins which we are going to use to connect this module. So here is our Arduino on breadboard. So let's connect it with the Arduino and uh, then we will see how to program this. So here I have prepared the uh, schematic for the uh, connection with this Chrono Dot version 2 with our 80 mega 328 chip. Here I have made all the connections to the microcontroller with the uh, real time clock module. So now let us move into the uh, Arduino IDE and uh, make some codings. Now in this uh, computer screen here, I have uh, written a simple code to uh, get the date and time from this RTC chip and uh, then we can uh, see the date and time on the serial monitor. So what this code basically does is that uh, I have used this RTC uh, library from Adafruit. So that uh, link I will post in the description and uh, I will post a link to my website where I will be posting the entire uh, project. So uh, that library I have used here and in the first line uh, you have to include that library obviously. Then you have to define the RTC chip that is in this case it is DS3231. And then the strings of uh, characters where it will define the uh, different days of weeks so as per the uh, days of week. The chip will basically send a particular uh, binary code to the uh, microcontroller and it will uh, eventually uh, convert it into the day of the week. So like uh, for Sunday it will be sending 0, then uh, for Monday it will be sending 1, like that some uh, numbers will be sending to the microcontroller. So in order to decode that we have this uh, strings of characters that will define the days of week. Then obviously in the setup we have to uh, define the uh, RTC chip that is by uh, RTC begin which is uh, similar to that of uh, wire begin which we use in i squared c communication so here we have to define the rtc begin function and uh, basically this uh, if statement will uh, execute when there is no rtc chip uh, connected to the microcontroller so if there is any rtc chip which is working so then uh, that if statement will not be executed and uh, if this statement is false then it will just uh, adjust the date and time which we have defined here that is 2021 5 that is the month fifth uh, month is may and first date that is first of may 2021 then 3 25 and 10 second that is a time that i'm going to set to this chip then obviously in the loop uh, first we have to call the function rtc now so this function will basically give the current date and time to the microcontroller so after calling this function we can uh, collect the data from uh, these functions like now dot year now dot month now dot day these are uh, quite uh, simple in in words we can uh, identify which is which function is for what so now uh, these uh, lines of code will basically print the data into the serial monitor and then this days of week which we have created the strings of character from there it will be displaying the day of week and then our minute and second and finally since this chip has the uh, inbuilt temperature sensor so obviously why not to try that so i have uh, two lines of code here rtc get temperature to get the temperature celsius now uh, i have put a delay of three uh, second or three thousand millisecond so that uh, every three seconds we will get the data from the RTC chip. So now uh, let's compile the program and see 
whether it's compiling or not so it's done compiling that means our code is working properly so now let's connect this to our uh, microcontroller and upload the sketch so here i am going to connect it to the mini usb cable so now i will be uploading it so first we have to go to tools and then see whether we have correct board or not so in this case i am uh, using 80 mega 328 chip which is uh, uh, having Arduino Uno bootloader. So I'll be selecting this Arduino Uno from this boards menu. And then uh, we have to select the correct COM port and then click on upload. So I'm uploading here. So here I can see it's flashing the red lights. You can see that means code is uploading. And now let's see the uh, see in the CL monitor what we are getting. So here you can see the date and time which we have set. We are getting it. Now it will start exactly from that particular time when we have flashed the code. So in the first line, it is uh, showing the date and time. That is two thousand twenty one. 5th of month that is may month and first date then that first may was saturday this year so it is obviously correct and then 3 25 and 10 so that is what the uh, inside the code i have uh, this uh, this line of code that is 3 25 that is 3 25 10 3 hour 25 minute 10 second so that time we have set and temperature the current temperature uh, reading of this sensor is 33.5 so obviously that is uh, uh, more or less correct i can say that uh, it is almost 33 34 degrees celsius out here so that is the uh, simplest code you can make uh, using this rtc uh, chip now uh, my future plan is to uh, make a digital clock using uh, this rtc chip that is my plan for now if you have any questions and uh, queries, you can post in the comment section. And uh, if you want all the information, all the schematic, uh, so make sure to go to the description. There I will post the link to my website. From there, you can get the entire blog and entire details. You can get it. You can download the code also from there. So thank you very much for joining. Have a nice day.